Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA podcast. I'm your host, Sky. What's up, y'all? We got CJ here. How y'all doing? Back in the building. How you been? How you, have you been enjoying the fights that's been on? It's been a couple weeks. Always, always. I love watching MMA. So I be feeling down when fights don't come on. So last, what was it, Thanksgiving weekend? There was no fights on, I think. Oh, well, PFL know, came, on. came on. I watched at the... the because we were out of town, so I watched it the following night. They had some pretty good fights on there. I like PFL. It's cool. Yeah. For what I it was, is. I was shocked that Larissa, I mean, not Larissa, but I don't know where that came from. Kayla Harrison lost. It was a good scrap. It was. And it's like, that's when people say, oh, if somebody can win, can they win? They can, You're in a fight. Like, anything can happen. So All the she chance. beat her twice. Yeah, it happens. I, man, this year, whew, I've been stressed out. <laughs> it's been like, like... It like after you know Kamaru lost, it really set a tone for the for like the long reigning champions. It really started being like, yo, nobody is safe. No, Amanda. After Amanda lost last December, it was like last no, year, nobody is safe. You can get popped. Yeah, anybody. You gotta bring I, your A game every night, every time. Like like if I'm a champ at this, if I'm a champ at this point, I'm not. If I'm hurt, like hurt, hurt, like you know, they're always coming in with some kind of issue or oh, something but like if i'm hurt i'm not fighting <laughs> yeah See, I'm, but you gotta understand too when you're the champ you're literally fighting the best of the best every single time right. and i don't understand what people say that they're like oh this guy sucks now i'm like man this you're fighting one every single time you're fighting the top of the top of the top right. every single time so it's a hard road to be the champ it, yeah. So and when people get the belt and then they lose it, you're like, yeah, you're fighting the top now. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. And you know what? That's a great perspective. Like when you really think about it, like he said, like you're at the top. You are. You're fighting the best contenders. Like the rest of these people, they're fighting eights and number 15. And, you know, they're working their way up to you. And then they get up there and yeah. it's and it's complete mayhem. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. they, like you said, they're fighting all this time to get there. They're hungry to get to that belt, so they going, they going all out. They ain't got nothing to lose. Nothing. What you got to lose? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> what did, Which is what did Leon have to lose? Nothing. Nothing. Well, nothing. Yeah, exactly. He, <laughs> he knew he was down. Hey, got to throw caution to the wind and get it done. Yeah. He might as well. Might as, like Alex. Well, Alex knew going into the fifth. Like, hey. I so. gotta knock him out. I gotta I got finish right. it. So, yeah. yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about everything. If we go back and take a look at last week's card, I was really impressed with Yasmin. I love I loved the way she came out. She got rocked a couple times early in the she fight, did. but she got a heart of a lion, though. She, yes. She's tough. I like her. And then we seen her in SD fighting, and she put on a mm-hmm. show out there, too. Yeah. She's tough. I thought I like when, her I, a lot. When, when we seen her in San Diego, I did think that the that the Brazilian chick that she fought, I thought that that, that she had won. But mm-hmm. one thing about this, like when I was watching that, the main thing that popped in my head was like the strawweight division, the women's strawweight division is in good hands. Like always, it's there's always. some there's some up and comers that are coming that are looking nice. They're looking crisp, like you know, mm-hmm. like. You know, because eventually, like, our champions right now, like, they're going to get older. You know, they're not going to be able to fight and stuff. And, like, the fact that we have, like, these new up-and-comers that are looking as good as they are, like, I'm like, okay. You know, women's MMA is still alive and well. Like, and the more, like... I love love it. (laughs) Yeah, you did. And the more that, like, you know, the sport gets older, you know, the more you'll start to see, especially, like, within women's MMA, you'll start to see, like, a lot of the, the fighters getting better because... Like I was talking about with Jace this weekend, I was like, you know, if you think about it, we were just talking about women's sport in general, you know, like, and I was saying like, you like, you know, like the pay discrepancy between female mm-hmm. soccer players or just female, mm-hmm. like uh, athletes in, in, in general, general, you know, and he's like, yeah, but have you ever been to a WNBA game and blah, 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 blah. And he's like, do you watch it? And I was like, if you think about it, males, let's talk about the NBA, right? So the NBA has been alive and well for 75 years i looked it up and the WNBA started in 97 97 significantly younger than the nba you know and then on top of that it's like by the time 97 came jordan had three rings 
Like, who mm-hmm. was stopping to go and, like, watch female sports? Now, on top of that, if you think about the time and the age, like, a lot of men don't want women playing sports, period. Mm-hmm. Like, and so, like, there's no interest. So, yeah, that's that's just a whole another rant that had nothing to do with this. But <laughs> but if you think about it, if, real quick, if you think about, like, say, women's basketball, mm-hmm. how many times do women go out there and go to those games and support? Yeah. But if you go look at the UFC fight, there be hella women in the crowd. Yes. Hella girls in the crowd. Yes. And like I said, I'm on TikTok going through. There's girls that are younger and younger and younger yes. that are getting into it. And, and like, I love it. I hated on it for a little bit. Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, why am I Why am I being like that? Everybody right. should be enjoying this sport. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's cool. And I always say this. Once they get younger and younger, they're going to get better and better and better. Their athleticism is going to be better. Because if you look at the girls from back in the day, like like Jessica, Jessica McCann and all those older fighters, mm-hmm. their their skill level, they were grown. Yeah. But their skill level wasn't up. But exactly. now these new girls, oh, man, they're they're wonderful. I, I yeah. love women's MMA. Because yeah. this next card that's coming up this weekend, I don't think there's no girls on the card. So I'm just like, ah, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> we want to have to take a look. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, starting that off, I was like, okay, we starting this, you know, we starting UFC Orlando off with a banger. And then Marcelo versus Marshall. Yo, what a knockout. The main thing that I seen about that, that kind of like, the what was the ref doing? Like that man, I don't know if y'all remember, oh, yeah. but he took like four extra shots to the head. Like yeah. he got knocked out and it was like hammer fist to the head. That was all bad, but it was a good fight. Good fight, yeah. It was a good fight. The Levy fight, that was a grappling match right there. Not grappling match, but yeah, that was kind of whatever. Valdez was trying to win. His when his foot swole up, and the doctor came in pushing on his foot. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like he was like, I don't like yeah. that. Don't touch me, right? And they're like, right. Hey man, you might not be able to step. He came out ready to fight, but he just he did. I don't know. He got grappled up, and yeah, I was going for him. Yeah, I was too. I mean, he he really did have heart, but you know, he was just outmatched. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, this blood fest happened. Darren Elkins and a J- a JSP, he looked, <laughs> JSP looked crisp. And I, I would like Darren Elkins to retire. You know me, I'm a old, I love my old school and I love the damage. I knew he was going to lose, but I was going for him. I love my old yeah. schools. <laughs> hey, couldn't he get him out of there. Every single time he breaks, exactly. You could not you get can't him out it. of there. I'll take Man. that. He's over here gushing blood and still in your face. Like, he was like, are you talking to your face? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I love yeah. it. I love the damage, though. Yeah, I like the way he fights. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, just a whole bunch of heart. And mm-hmm. then let's get into it because you and I were texting about this when this was happening. Michael yeah. Johnson, listen, yeah. he showed, he oh set the God. tone for the vets. After, the, after Michael, I feel like all the vets was like, oh, okay. Like, we we not coming here to play because Mark DeCasey, he was in there playing too much. That first round, he's in there laughing and joking and laughing doing all this goofy shit. Pointing around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then with like surprise. you, I'm like, you can tell the difference. And we talked about this on a pod a while ago. And I remember you talked about the age, but something about experience. Mm-hmm. And then you ready to go out there. He fought Dustin, knocked his ass out. Yep. So it's a different level. If you in there playing, the old school's going to give it to you. They're going to show you how it yeah. is. Like, he went out there and, and he styled on it, basically. You know what I mean? He really did. You can't. We, we got to talk about this. Like, bro, you're in a fight. This ain't a game. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> like, yeah, you're like, you. he was doing good things, but it's mm-hmm. like, you're in a fight. You're in a scrap. Continue to do those good things. Yes. And then you and let not- the old school guy come and wash you out. And not against some chump he's in there with michael exactly. johnson like michael johnson has power like what are you you in here doing these spinning kicks you over here just walling and then at the end he had his hand raised he really thought he won i was like in what universe in what universe did you think you won michael like, johnson to me he looks smooth he really did he looks smooth he didn't let none of the antics get to him no he was moving around he was pinging him up getting in and getting out and the thing, like I said, he fought Khabib, he fought Dustin, he fought a lot of high level guys. It's like you think just because you're young and you you got power and you fast, these guys have technique and skills and know how to put you in traps and composure. Yeah, 
And that's yeah. that's pretty much what he did. Because all of that, he was really hoping that by him sticking his tongue out and doing all that goofy stuff, that Michael was going to get anxious and annoyed with him and try to push the pace and, and make a mistake. And Michael was like, man, listen, I'm about to get this done. I've been this in this case too long. <laughs> I've been in this and, case too long. And you know, the Casey's last two fights, he was wrestling a lot. And so... Mm-hmm. None of his take. He didn't get no takedown on Michael. Michael sprawl when he was sprawling. He, on looked, um, he, he was sliding amazing. on him. Yes. He's yes. a vet, man. He's a vet. Yeah. And shout out to Rumble Johnson. That's his training partner back in the day. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what's crazy is when I was at the Contender Series, I seen we sat next to Michael Johnson. And he looked oh, so yeah. big. And he was saying that he was, like, going to go up to 170. So I was surprised that this was at 155 because, like, I, I seen him just a couple, like, you know, like maybe like a month or so ago. And I was like, dang, like, maybe two months. I don't know how long it's been since the Contender yeah, Series. Okay. But, but yeah, I mean, he about two good. months. Ago, it's been a while since then. But to me, he looked small at 155, though, next to Mark. Because Mark was swollen in there. I was like, he damn, was. his arm is big as hell. He was. <laughs> All that for nothing. <laughs> All that for nothing. That's what that muscles don't mean nothing in the ring. They really don't. And then, you know, your boy Clay Clay Guida, you know, we love to see the opening. I what? love the thing is, I don't like Clay. Really? Because he's what? Yeah, because he's just a dirty, disgrace, not dirty fighter, but he's just a, he's the carpenter. You know yes. what I'm saying? But in this fight, I was going for him because he's a vet. He's an old yeah. school guy. I was like, get his ass play, and look at how he showed the hell out. Yeah, you and know he, what? He did his thing. Clay looked great, but one thing I will he say, looked amazing. One thing I will say, they got to start taking away points for these fence fence grabs. Like, he, he, my girl is the fence grab police. She is the fence grab police. Yes. She's like, he's grabbing the seat. And, Yes, absolutely. Yes, he grabbed it like five, six times. Okay, yes. Come on, man. Come on, ain't no more warnings. You got to take a point yeah. away. You because, take a point. Yep. yeah, I mean, like at a certain point, like it's just egregious, you know, because that we don't know what that takedown could have led to. And like just that little bit, like just because somebody wasn't full force grabbing you, like we, you don't know. Like, and like that was ridiculous. Like, yeah, I'm with Mo. Take a point. <laughs> take a point. <laughs> like, in in that fight, you can tell that wasn't it Holtzman? He was just mm-hmm. getting you could see it in his face. He was just like, I don't he was frustrated. Yeah. He didn't know what to do. He was like, Man, this old guy is just moving and he's punching me, he's grappling me, he's grabbing me, he's taking me down. He th- he thought he was gonna go in there and wash him. He was yeah. just frustrated. Yeah. Hey, Clay Clay looked good though. He was moving. He- like, because Darren wasn't moving that well. Darren Elkins wasn't no. moving that well. Like, Darren was way slower than JSP. But, like, I think also because Scott, this was his re- retirement fight. He was 39 and Clay's 40. And so mm-hmm. I think maybe Clay just looked, maybe they looked like at the same speed because they were both older. I don't know. But speaking about age, we're going to get to that because Stephen Thompson said, hey, wait a minute. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> and the thing about Clay if you're a pretty fighter and you throw pretty things, like when he beat, damn, I just forgot his name, the super kick. Yeah, boy, oh, Pettis. When he fought oh, yeah, Pettis, yeah. he makes fights ugly. Yeah. If you want to throw all these pretty things and all these, play makes fights ugly. And he yeah. grapples you, he grinds you, he makes things up. And you can't do the things that you want to do. He, he's frustrated in the sale. Yeah. That's why exactly. he used to beat the fighters that I used to like and I'd be like, man, get him out of here. But, I'll take right. it though. Today no, or that feel- last week, I'll take it. I love it. <laughs> I feel you. You know, and then give it up. Angela Hill. That was her master That's class. Yeah. That was an Angela it. Hill. What the hell did Emily come there for? What why did you get on the plane? What happened? Like she, she just like shut she didn't down. want to play. Yeah. yeah. And the crazy thing I is would have been in the cage fighting her because shit. She did not show up. Like her, she didn't want to fight. No. Her no, coaches were confused. She was walking back and forth. He's like, hey, man, like, what's going on here? Like, I don't know how to advise you about. And then, you know, what's crazy is today, Danny was on Instagram and she seen the highlight of Ducat when she did that head kick that, like, pretty mm-hmm. much killed the girl. I don't know if you've seen that highlight, but, like, it's vicious. And she goes, oh, my God, who is this? And I'm like, that's the chick. That was fighting Angela Hill. She was like, there's no way. I was like, yes, that's the same chick. I don't know why she didn't show up. But hey, Angela got to put on a master class. 
She looks so good. So good. I lo- she was looking like a little female Dom out there. Just she moving really and sliding. The knees in the clinch. Oh, oh, beautiful. Nasty. I loved it. I, I'm, I was so happy for her because she yes. deserves it because a lot of her fights that she fights very well in, it goes to decisions. It's always split, split and it goes the other way. You're like, exactly. Damn. It's like four or five fights that her record doesn't seem how it really is. And like, again, like I said, with Michael Johnson, she fought all the top, the top yep. of the top. Yep. So when you fight somebody that's like right near you in the rankings, you're going to show out. Like, it doesn't yeah. even compare. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit, this motherfucking fight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before we this get fight. to that, one thing that I realized that like I hadn't thought about was one thing that I realized that I had not thought about was that like, and I asked my one of my coworkers because she's like really, really like into like the female fighters and she knows a lot of them. Because I was like, I know Angela Hill was the first black female MMA fighter in the UFC. And then I was like, who else is in there? And there's only Sarge. Two- yeah, exactly. Sarge. And then wait, let me pull up the other chick's name. Her name is Brianna. Where is it? Brianna Fortino. There's only three like black. I and when I say, anyone. yeah, yeah, I, I hadn't like I seen a, I looked up a picture of her and like and I hadn't seen her either. But I was like, there's not that many black females in the sport. Now, there are black Afro Latinas that are from, you know, Brazil. The Brazilian that part a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, you know, or or even Jocelyn, I can't remember her last name, but she's from Panama, you know, and so uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. even though, like, the MMA community gets, like, real nasty about, like, whenever Angela says she's a black woman, it's just like, you know, they, the comments on the internet be trash anyways, but. But you know what it is? It's not even the black women. You can, like, I said that by, on my first part, it's just like, it's a lot of, well, we won't even have to get all the way, but a lot of the black fighters. When they get in there and they start ripping and talking their shit, they hate a lot. But then we can go, and I hate saying his name, but when Connor starts doing that shit, it's all good. Right. Fact. And I'm going to just leave it there because, Fact. you know what I mean? It is what it is. I ain't never been a fan of him, so it yeah. is what it is. Come from me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Facts. And then Nico Price versus Phil Rowe. Man. That was so fun. That was fun as hell. Listen, that was let me cool. tell you. My biggest fear, like, and I'm not even a fighter, but like, if I was a fighter, my biggest fear in life is getting tired in a fight and knowing that there's a killer on the other side trying to take you out. Nico almost had Phil out of there and then he gasped and it was terrifying to see him just get punched up against that cage like that. And then Phil is the bigger, longer, younger, stronger fighter. Excuse me. I hate this. That's why it was great. It really was. It was and a good I, ass I was, fight. Was all the I way was, through. I was so happy to see Nico. Like, I like Nico Price, and I didn't realize that he was out due to those, like, knee injuries and stuff. So I was sad it to see him. Things. Yeah, exactly. I was like, damn. You know, one thing Phil needs to work on, he's longer, he's taller. Mm-hmm. He needs to work on his distance management. Like, mm-hmm. you, you, you got to be able, like, if you're that, if you have such a huge advantage, like, you got to be able to keep your opponents at bay. I'd like to see him work on that. But, hey, he got it done, so what do I know? <laughs> what the bitch um, was that? And uh, 70? Oh, yeah, 170. 170. Yeah. 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 That's Eric Anders. Eric Anders made, call, made Kyle look ridiculous. Did you watch You know what? I, yeah, I am. I was doing some other stuff, but I had put it on my phone and I seen the ending of it. Like, I knew Eric Anders was going to win because the Dawkins brothers, they be fucking up. <laughs> and and Kyle, uh, Chris or whatever the other one's name is, he's, he's fighting, fighting this weekend. weekend. Yeah. He's probably going to yeah. get my <laughs> Kyle looked terrible. And apparently, I didn't even realize that he was coming back off of a orbital surgery. So he has a metal plate in there. That boy looked terrible. He was getting beat the fuck and, and they And then they headbutt each other. Yes. The headbutt was the wrong. Ex- oh, it, 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 but that's what happened between him and Kevin Holland when him and Kevin Holland fought, remember? And he was like talking shit about Kevin getting a uh, headbutt and flash knocked out. Now you know what it feels mm-hmm. like. <laughs> yeah, he and then, him out. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Right. Roman Delize. Yo, that calf slice. <laughs> yo, the whole exchange when it got on the ground and like the difference in missions that he was throwing up, like within a 30 second period was crazy. Yeah. But then do, it going was into that, as hell. it was so, it was like he practiced this shit. Like he did that shit so smooth. He was so calm. And 
the fact that he, when he rolled into that calf slicer and just flattened him out and started beating him, I was like, we've never seen this. That was amazing. I was I'm like, what do you guys think he is? Charles over there? I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. I was like, you, you, because you really don't see that kind of stuff in the UFC. Like, no. That's crazy as hell. No. And then he Thank beat you. his ass. I was happy because I don't like that. Like yeah. I told you, I'm like, yeah. yeah. So I'm yeah. like, we'll take that. Get him out of the shit. This one. Yeah, poor. J- oh, Bam Bam. Not my boy. Yeah, yeah not, not your boy, boy Blue. Blue. <laughs> That's finally my boy, Blue. Hey, man. The dogs were barking. This whole fight card, the dogs were just straight winning. I felt so bad for, for Bam Bam, though. See, but the thing, I was talking to my girl and shit. We were watching the fight. The thing with Bam Bam, he gets in trouble and he sits there and wants to throw instead of using his brain and circling the fuck out of there and right. chilling out for a second. It's like, bro, you can't do that. This big polar bear motherfucker is going to knock your ass the fuck out. It's like, stop a little bit and think. Yes. Use your feet and move. Yes. He had an opportunity to move. He started to throw. He threw that big left and whisked and then... Mm-hmm. It was a wrap. Good night, Irene. You know, it was, a, it was how, how long was the fight? 30, 40 seconds? 50, 54 seconds. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he got his ass beat for like five minutes straight. His he woke up and was like, damn, was, was it an octopus hitting me? He was like, oh my God, right. all these punches. His face was fucked up. I know. It looked like he went all three rounds. It was terrible. But the one thing, the one thing that I thought about, I was like, although I was happy to see him, I'm like, he just took a whole bunch of damage against Gon in, in September, early September 10th. So almost yep. exactly three months ago, he took That's a whole bunch of damage because because Gon got on his ass. And I was just surprised that like he was back out there again with this monster. So that really hurts Ty's momentum because he like he was doing really good. He had made it all the way up to like the number four rank. But so I'm not really familiar you, with Sergey. And you text me that. And they didn't register in my head because I just like seeing the fight. So like, oh, Bam Bam. Right. But the way he got beat up three months ago, it's like, that. like well, I always say it takes a lot of tool on your body. It does. And then you're going to go train three months and then you're going to go fight a big polar bear like this dude. Right. That got hella power in his ass. And he's an athletic dude. He's yeah. not one of those big heavyweights that are big and sloppy. He looks flat. He looks yeah. good. He, yeah. He's fast and he got power. He just knocked so, down I, Derek. He, he knocked his ass smooth the fuck out. So he's not a guy to like think play you're just with. gonna come in there and play with exactly. So he's he's on the watch list. People better watch out. All right. <laughs> yeah, better watch out. Hey, Shit. The heavyweight division because, is looking because fish. his punches aren't out. They're not looping. They're coming mm-hmm. down. Boom, boom, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And now they got him ranked number three. So they got uh, the Sergey. Serial gosh. He's right behind. Steve. Hey, man. Hey, man, I like Cyril God. Me too. I love, I love him. I, I love don't know him. what he'd be saying, but I love his personality. Yeah, I really do. I really do. So I, I'm excited to see what's going to happen with him, you know. And then uh, Matthias Nikolaio. Oh, that was a good fight, but I was like, I was going for Matt Schnell. I was going for Schnell, too. He was gonna, I had a feeling he was going to lose because of his wins. Exactly. We just, we just didn't put it together. Yeah, I was... You know, one thing I respected, though, is that, like, unlike Brian Ortega, he didn't lie about why he cut oh. his hair. Like, when Brian cut his hair against Korean Zombie, like, Thursday you showed up, you had your full flow of hair. And then Friday morning for weigh-ins, you ain't got no hair. And you over here talking about, oh, I didn't do it for the weight cut. Yes, the fuck you did. Like, you um, did not want to walk around. Even, you did not want to. two of the other. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Like, all of a sudden he weighed in and came in there looking like Voldemort. Like. Like, who is that? I, know, I was like, Ew, who is this guy? <laughs> uh, yeah, and but uh, Nikolaio was putting it on him. He was putting yeah. it on him. He had dropped Matt Schnell a couple of times, but we'll see. Hopefully he gets re-signed and, you know, he'll be able to move up and fight somebody. 125 is like, I'm happy they didn't cut that division because they've been coming. I love 125. That might be Snell's problem too, though. He's like a comeback type of kid. Mm-hmm. You, can't, you can't do that. You yeah. can't, don't be a comeback kid in the UFC. Hell no. Nah. Right. Exactly. You want to need the dance. Yeah. Exactly. And then another vet, Dos Anjos, RDA. Fuck yeah. Yeah. RDA. Oh. Not playing Say with it. y'all. He's a fucking vet. He's high level, fights the best of the best of the best. And he, he showed it. 
That shit she was really beautiful. Did. Yeah, she that really was did. beautiful. And now they and got him. From getting knocked out. Who? Fazeev knocked his ass out in his last fight. I don't RDA. Think... See, the last one I remember, the last one I remember for RDA was him versus Mo- Moicano. No, he fought Fazeev a couple months ago. Did and Fazeev. Yeah. Let me he go. made his toes touch. Eesh. They went together like, and they knocked his ass out. Yeah. Um, Let me yeah. see. Where do they have? Because, but that, that, fight, that fight was at 50. You know what? Though. You are so right. You are 100% yeah. right. I remember now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That fight was at 55. Mm-hmm. And the fifth round. That's exactly. Yeah. Because, but RDA was looking yeah. good in that fight too. Until it wasn't. Yeah. And Jerry, I, yeah, I like that, RDA. He's a, he's a vet. I like those vets, man. Yeah. Do you think what he you, should fight Connor next? That's when what he I was just about to I say. Like, yeah, hey, give it to him. Con- Connor ain't gonna want to get in there with him. Did you see that grappling? Mm-hmm. Connor ain't gonna want to get. Connor want to strike. He don't want to get in there with RDA. Mm-mm. But Connor used to talk shit when they were supposed to fight. He always like, talking four shit. Four or five years ago, he was hey, talking he- mad shit, and then RDA got, RDA got hurt, and then he had moved on. I think they need to run that shit. They got I mean, that. I, I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it. Steven Wonderboy also called him out too. So if if, See, if that's the thing, I can't stand this motherfucker, man. Everybody calling this dude out. I know they want to get paid, man. Fuck him. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Hey, man. I'm telling you, I've never been a fan of him. I was like, whatever, bro. They, they they can't help themselves. Everybody's trying to get I paid, know. man. I know. Get they that can't dollar. help themselves. And if they fight him, beat his ass. Right. McNuggets. <laughs> like Dustin did. Like Dustin. Like Dustin. That man did you see what he, Did you see when he when he tweeted about Dustin's foot? Yeah. I I'm Dustin's, like, bro, you can't play with shit like that, bro. Like yeah. he was like, yeah, chop it off and send it to Halloween or some shit. I'm like, bro, you're yeah. wild. Like, come on. Yeah, no. Nah. No, because he really could have lost his foot. Right before we got on, I did check and see that the antibiotics are finally working. So they they're saying that he could get out tomorrow. But, you know, shit like that ain't no joke. Like, you can get staph infected and they will have to cut your foot off. Like, that could have been the end exactly. of his MMA career. Like, that's not a joke. And it could kill you. Like, F a career. Like, he could die from something like that. Like, you know. I don't know if you've seen the message that I sent you earlier today. I was like, Kevin Randleman almost died from that staph infection yeah, yeah, in his arm. Said. Yeah, He fell into a coma in, like, 2007. He almost died from yeah. staph infection. I was like, bro, you don't play with that kind of shit. Yeah, you can't. It's not funny. Yeah. And then... Steven Thompson versus Kevin Holland. Your boy Thompson put on a hey. master class. So you got to clap it up for your bro, he said. I know. <laughs> he was so upset. Like, he, he couldn't be on today, but he was like... Your brother he was, was right. He was... As soon as the fight was over, Damien texted me and was like, oh, shit, your brother going to be going off. I was like, you have no idea. He is such an ass. <laughs> he, he was ready to go off. And like I told him, like, like when we talked about it, I was like, listen. And like I like, you know, like I posted that's been getting a whole bunch of engagement on Twitter or whatever. I mean, not Twitter, but TikTok. But like, yo, Kevin Holland, here, here's what I here's what I'll say. Say like these people, like even like Wonder Boy or Kevin Holland, they all want to strike. Right. If y'all want to strike and y'all don't necessarily really want to engage with the grappling or your grapple is not up to par. One championship is looking real good for y'all because one on a fight with oh, if Muay Thai, fighting, yeah, you could do Muay Thai, you could do kickboxing, you don't have to do the MMA, and you could still be signed with like a big organization. Like I think a lot of fighters, like especially because one is going to be coming here. I think they said like in May with a DJ and Andre, yeah, Andre two or Andre three. That's going to be a banger of a card right. They're, here in Colorado. Like fighters should start looking into that. Like I know like the UFC is, and like, I love one. I'm a Huge fan yes. of one. Yes, I really love Huge one. Huge fan of one. I think that they're going to be the UFC's, well, they they are the UFC's biggest competition. Yeah. Especially and now that they're going to be, like, getting some U.S. cards. And, like, once the U.S. really starts picking up on what's going on over there. But, you know, I think that they'll be, start to come into play a little bit more. Because if you want to do that, you can go fight at one. And you could do a kickboxing match. And then especially because they did that cool thing with DJ where they, DJ and Rod Tang, oh, where they did Rod one Tang. round. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So there could be some fun, creative stuff if all you want to do is 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 strike. And you mm-hmm. can still fight MMA over there. You know what I mean? But, like, 
The fact yeah, those you know they throw in the bag. Yeah. But those scrambles that they that that they got into where Kevin got top position and he stood back up, I was pissed. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, everyone was like, "It's such a good fight." I don't, I really couldn't even tell you what happened in them fights because I'm still stuck on those moments. Like, come on, Kevin. Like you're getting pieced, and then at the end when your hands broke, now you want to start doing these sloppy shots. Man, come on. Yeah. Come on, Kevin. It, yeah, it's. I was. And, and this is the me, last thing. He was taking want, heavy shots okay. to the head. Sorry, that's mm-hmm. it. He was taking heavy shots to the head. Like, that's a lot of trauma. Although he had the chin, like, to stand up, like, don't get it twisted. That's damage. Yeah. So, to me, I want to be a winner. I want to be a winner. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know we said what we said, what he said, but I was talking to my girl. And if he gets positioning and he starts grounding, pounding, that's still getting strikes in. Like, Period. you're doing your thing. So when Wonder Boy usually fights like Gilbert Burns and Bilal and all that, they're just holding them. That's two yes. different things, you know, laying and praying and then getting on the ground and ground and pounding. That's the, you have to get out of that. Yes. So if you're on the ground and you get it punched up, I take that shit, bro. Absolutely. So you have to you have to find a way to get out of that to transition and get get back up to your feet and then move along. Exactly. But if you're just holding on them on the cage and you're just yeah. on top of them, I can understand where you're just like, oh, I'm going to get up. But he had opportunity to put some hammer fists down, get some striking mm-hmm. on the ground. Gotta secure the put him in a crucif- to get him to a crucifix and beat him up down there. But yes, it's like, Wonder Boy, you've been in the UFC for a hella long time. And I know Over you want to strike. And I, I love Wonder Boy. Don't get it wrong. He's yeah. the nicest dude. Like, I want to be his friend in real life. Right. <laughs> Both of them. You know what I'm right. saying? But it's like, you can't pick and choose, bro. You're in a fucking fight. You know what I'm saying? That's like yeah. somebody saying like, oh, I'm going to play basketball, Steph Curry, but you can't shoot threes. Like, what the fuck right. are you talking about? Like, yeah. we trying to win. Right. Like, get the fuck right. out of here, bro. And see, you know. But and I, I love the fight. I love the fight. So. Yeah, I thought it was a master class for Steven Thompson. I was happy for him that he got to get in there, show off, and look good, and do his damn thing. I think overall, like I was talking about with, like, other people, there's a difference. Some people want to be a champion. Other people want to have fun. They want to entertain. They want to. And that's fine, too. Either path is fine, but, like, there's a reason why Bilal Muhammad and Gilbert Burns wrestled, grappled Stephen Thompson. Now, I was pissed at Gilbert for just holding on to Stephen Thompson yeah, and doing nothing. I was born as fuck, yeah. And then waited for the literally the last five seconds to start punching him in the back of the head, illegal hits. That pissed me off. Like, like you said, that's not what we're advocating for. We're not advocating for you to hold on to somebody. But I am advocating for you to... Secured around, like I like, I like Gil, I like Habib because Habib was was when he, he was when he was taking you he down. Got yes, yeah, it was to pound you out. He was over there hitting Michael Johnson, talking about you know I deserve this, I deserve. Like that's what we want to see. So I was a little disappointed in Kevin, but you know they both broke their hands. So, so even Stephen yeah. Thompson broke his. Hand. I see. I did. I just seen it before we move on. So what do you think is next for each one? I think for Thompson, since it doesn't seem like you know he's trying to like go for the belt. But if I was Thompson, okay, listen, if I was Thompson, I'm on every platform going crazy. I want to be the backup fighter for Kamaru because I'm trying to I'm trying to get at Leon because <laughs> Leon's not a like not a wrestler yeah. and Leon wants to go. So I'm trying to be the backup fighter. If not, I'm trying to fight. Oh, wait, I was talking about this. I was saying he could say that he wants What's to fight. Boys? They moved him up to six. He was seven, so they moved him up to six. If I'd be like, hey, I want to be the background fighter for the London card, and if not, put me on there with Jorge, Jorge Masvidal. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Jorge, like, do that on the same card as Usman and them, so if somebody falls out or something weird happens, you, you can potentially get a shot at Leon because, like, you're not going to get a title shot unless you really start, like, trying to work them angles because anybody else in between here, they're going to out-wrestle. They're going to out-grapple him. It's going to be a match. But he has a potential against Leon. And I think him against Jorge is a, is a, is a banger. I think he banged. I think he beats Jorge. Wow. That, they already did that. What's, what's Jeff Neal's ranking? Can you look at that in that 170? They just moved it. Yeah, they just moved him back to seven. Jeff so they Neal? Moved, yeah, they moved Thompson up to six and Jeff Neal up to seven. He already beat him. He already beat him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Wonder Boy already beat I was, him. I was, th- I was thinking Holland should fight Masvidal. I think Masvidal is out of the top five, ten dudes. Yeah, they got him He's at 11. He's on journeyman type. Yeah, you but know what I'm saying? He's out of that. 
Yeah. He's been a journeyman, you know but guess what he did? He started running his mouth. He got that real good, you know, head kick to the, or that knee on Askren. And then that's when he started getting, and then he fought Diaz. Like, had Diaz not called him out, Diaz was the one that got that whole thing going. You know what I mean? Like, Jorge and don't give has me always a, been a journeyman. Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge, huge, huge Masvidal fan. Yeah, but we got to be and factual. I don't, don't, I don't want to get into this shit again because like, I've been in this shit for a long ass time. Yes. But uh, it's, a, it's a new era of fighters. I was yes. watching him like way, way, way back in the day. When mm-hmm. my first time I watched him is when he fought KJ Noons here in San Diego. I'm like, who the mm-hmm. fuck is that? I watched the tape when he was fighting with Kimbo and shit, but that was some other shit. <laughs> but he fought KJ Noons here in San Diego, and I was going for KJ because he fought in San Diego, mm-hmm. and Masvidal put that shit on him. Yeah, I, I really like this guy. Right. So fast forward, I'm like, he's doing too much of this shit instead of getting into the ring. He's he's not ready for the top level type of dude. You know what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. But I, I would like to see. I would like to see him fight Ali because the promos and all of that shit will be amazing. Because all they be do, fun. both of them just run their mouth. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, actually, you're right. That that, that, that will be fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, they could absolutely book that. So yeah, overall, I thought it was a good card. It was a solid card. It was a good it was card. Entertaining. It started off. It started off real good. Yeah, it did. So yeah, that was UFC Orlando, and now rolling into this weekend, it listen. This card was hot, and then it started losing fight. It started losing steam, and now it's kind of looking a little bit like. But you know, we'll we'll see. It's not too bad. Like I'm actually hoping Who that I get that with um, no taste. Oh, Eric so. Yeah. They haven't that it's not selling that well. So I don't, it's not gonna be like one of those like, oh, the twenty seventh uh, sellout that they're looking for and all the rest of that stuff. So I'm really hoping that like I can get some tickets because I'm trying to be there. I'm trying to go to every fight, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to See, go to every you lucky. fight. You're yes. lucky you right there, man. I like I'm poor. Man. <laughs> man. I can't and you right there. And you got yeah. the haircut. So. Right. Exactly. That's the only reason why, because Listen, I can't buy them more tickets because it's crazy. The prices are are crazy. Like, that's one thing. My brother was like, oh, are you going to go to one championships fight, you know, when it comes here? And at first, and it's I was right like, yeah. yeah. And I was like, it depends on what yeah. the tickets look like because Bellator tickets are cheap. Like, you can get, yeah. like, good seating for, like, 50, 60 bucks. Like, you cannot get that in the U. You cannot get that at a yeah. U. Even the nosebleeds, like, for pay-per-view cards, like. I thought that the San Diego ones were was pretty cheap. That's why I ended up going there because I could get like really good seating for like literally the same amount the same amount that I would pay at T Mobile to sit in the nosebleeds was to sit right there when the fighters was walking out. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, this is a wrap. Oh, that's um, how much the tickets is at the T Mobile arena? Yeah, that's like crazy. the nosebleeds. The nosebleeds typically start at like one fifty, two hundred. If it's a Connor card, if it's the Connor card, the nosebleeds. I'm talking about the the cheapest seats in the place. At minimum, it's two fifty. Like yeah. they, it's crazy with yeah. Connor. Like, but you know, we'll see. I'll let y'all know if I get uh, some tickets because I'm being there. I was talking to my girl. I think they need to start doing more of those. How that it was the San Diego card and how uh-huh. this card was in Orlando. They need to start doing more of those because that last card felt like it was a pay per view if type of card. Uh huh. It had everybody. It was packed in there early. Yeah, and that's how San Diego mm-hmm. was too. Yeah. So I think they should start doing more of those fight nights in certain places. Out- not yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what they're supposed to be doing. The vibe. Yeah. Yeah. They're supposed to be out of the apex. Like they, they we're not supposed to be in the apex every single weekend for fight nights. But I think now more and more, like I think for sure next year, there's gonna be a whole bunch more fights that are outside of the apex that are out just due to the fact that like now, like majority places nowadays don't even have like COVID restrictions and stuff like that. So this card coming up this weekend really starts getting spicy. Like I like Billy Q. Too. He's good. I'm, I like him. Oh, too. Alexander Hernandez is dropping down a featherweight. He usually fights at 155. Oh. I don't like him. I don't like him um, either. Remember Cowboy beat his ass? That's exactly why I don't like him. <laughs> Shut up. That's exactly, yeah. I didn't even know who he was, but he was talking crazy. He was talking crazy. I was like, who is this guy? All of the get inside. When Cowboy beat his ass, I was screaming. I was so yeah. happy. I didn't like him. And then his last fight that he lost and he got beat up on, he was all pissed off talking about how come I'm not on the main card. I'm a main card fighter. I should be on the main card. Then somebody dropped out and they put him on the main card. And then, yeah, he got beat up. I can't remember. 
I don't know, but I'm gonna have to pull it up now that we're talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan because that's how he was talking reckless to Cowboy. I was like, man, shut yeah. your ass up. Yeah, I knew I couldn't be the only one. I was like, I don't like him. That, that's like, you cocky for no reason. Oh, he yeah, got beat up by Moe Kano. He got beat up by Moe Kano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I don't know why he coming down to 145. He already big. Like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, but big. yeah, so I'm going for Billy yeah. Q regardless. Yeah, me too. I like Billy Q on that one too. Yeah, and then... Yo, they need to move Chris Curtis and Buckley up. They they need to be like See, move. That's the that's the start of the prelims. They do that so people will start watching more. So they'll Man. get in. They'll be like, oh, I know this guy from this thing. So I'm gonna get in there and start watching. Man, it's, they it's, need, all, it's all about the money and math. Anger. Yeah, no, it's true. And they and I hope y'all watch. I mean, you know, we're watching from the top, anyways. But everybody yeah. else, you don't want to miss this. Like. Yeah, they're gonna bring it, and then Edmund Shabazi and who you, got, you know, hold on, who you got in that one? I, I'm, I don't even know. I think I'm gonna go Chris Curtis. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like the momentum is on Chris's side. Like he had that really bad. He, you know, he had that. His last fight was against Jackson Manson, yeah. and nothing was happening there. Then but that Buckley, was in London, though, right? Yeah, yeah, that was the London See? one. And and he he got frustrated because he couldn't get to because Jack was doing a whole bunch of running pretty much he was circling and running yeah <laughs> exactly and then Buckley I like Buckley man but I think I think Buckley lost his, his last, last his last, last couple yeah, fights no, it was it was a good fight though his last fight was good yeah it it, it kind of went down to the wire where he was like man you got to let your hands go a little bit and he actually and his started dude was letting way it go. taller yeah the guy was taller than him so he couldn't get on the inside. Yeah. It was a good fight. Yeah. I forget who was his last fight against. Yeah, it says I'm evolved. I don't, I know I'm Emovolve. butchering his name. Emovolve. Emovolve. Yeah. Emovolve. yeah. Yeah. That was that that was in Paris. Yeah. That was on the oh, Paris yeah, yeah, card. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll see. He did look I, good I, towards the end. I, I always go for Buckley. If you pull out one of them highlight type fucking Mortal Kombat type Anything's of kicks, Anything's possible. Exactly. I, I'll be wanting to see that, but for that fight, I, I, I call it a wash, but I think Chris might pull it out. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. I, I'm I'm excited for for whoever wins, because I know it's going to be entertaining. I mean, they got a little heated back rivalry, too. I guess that they used to train with each other. <laughs> they used to be friends, but they're not friends no more. Like, so, Beast. that'll be interesting. Yeah, like, uh, if you guys check out Ode Osborne's podcast, he has one episode yeah, with Chris on it, and yeah, and then the next week, Buckley's on it, so they kind of talk about it. And then, Edmund Shabazian and I'm not. I'm just gonna call him Dacha because I don't even want to do it like that. I don't. I don't really know him. I I don't I know, know Edmund. I, I know Edmund. Yeah, yeah. I I wonder. Edmund Shabazian, he was supposed to be that dude, right? That he just, was supposed to be that guy. Still. Yeah. yeah, he is still young. He lost to Imanov as well. And then, oh, he's on oh, a three-fight losing streak. Oh, he needs that. this. Oh, he needs this bad. Who hey, he I'm, lose I'm, to? I can't really see. He lost to, then he lost to Hermanson, then he lost to Brunson. Yeah. I don't like <laughs> Brunson either. <laughs> yeah, I don't like Brunson either. He don't be trying to do nothing. Yeah, that's tough. I'm going to go with the Hurt Dog. I'm going to go with the Hurt Dog and then and Edmund because Edmund. he needs that win. I mean, he need that win. Let's, let's talk. Damn, that dude looks swole as a motherfucker. But he has those good, those good fights, Ooh. Edmund against Vince. So that's know. true. That's that's true. That's but one of this those dude, this dude, he's coming on a three fight losing streak too. Oh shit! Hey, they both need it. They both need a win. <laughs> hey, they might be out the UFC if they keep fucking around. Shit. That's what I'm saying. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Hey, this might so, be like the WWE where to go home type of shit. Hey, it's <laughs> real. You for lose real. and you go. Yeah, and then let's get into it. Raul oh, Rosas Jr. versus Jay Perrin. The 17-year-old, now 18-year-old, making his debut. I mean, I'm really excited for this fight. Like, this is like Me one too. of the... I just want to see what's going to happen, you know? I want to see what ha what's going to happen because I don't know if people remember... Perrin's on a three-fight losing streak, too. He is, and I, I I did like a little. I'll probably be putting it out like within the next couple of days. But I was like looking into his record and looking into his fights. He has two losses in the UFC, two losses in Bellator, 
and he lost on the contender series. His record is 10 and 6. Mm. Yeah, exactly. But this last fight with Arichi Lang, that was a banger. And that was a couple months ago. It says August 20th it was. But, like, if y'all go back and watch this, it actually really was a banger. It was a really good fight. Like, and it was a, it was a very competitive fight, although he lost it. Um, mm -hmm. But his, his boxing appears to be better than Raul Rosas Jr. And, I mean, he's okay with the grappling. So it, it's feeling like they tried to give Raul a fight that he actually has a, a chance. He, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did it Prince said he trained with him a little bit before? Yeah, they have. It, right? Yeah. Just okay. a little bit. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. I want to see how the chin holds up on an 18-year-old. I want to see what he's looking like. You know, the game plan. Like, I'm super, super interested. I met him. The episode might be out now by the time this podcast is posted. So y'all can check it out on YouTube. You know, they do the Dana White Next Level that comes out on YouTube. And so they wow. follow, you know, them around after they win their contenders contract. So I met him, met his family. Really nice. It should be interesting. I, like, I'm super excited just to see what's going to happen I, with that. It's like, man, shout out to the kid, man. I, I, yeah. I really don't know how to call it because you got to die with the... Yeah. The man straight, he's still a young uh -huh. boy, but then he got that young youth and he just energy ready to go. I, yeah. Highly skilled. I don't know. I'm going yeah. to call that one. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm you know, not I'm, either. Me either, just, because yeah. too many unknowns. And then, yeah, Rosen I just want to see how it goes. Yo, why they got Rosenstreak up here looking like Big Papa? Like, why is he so big in this picture, yo? No, like. Your boy's yeah. not that big. Like, this is a bad not, picture. It, yeah, and that's the thing. It's crazy. He, he looked like he big as hell, like when they show the pictures right there. Uh-huh. But he come out, you think he's like, he's like a mini Derek Lewis. <laughs> exactly. It's fact. Yeah. Facts. I, mean, I think he's going to win, though. I hope so. Like I said, I don't I'm like not a fan of the assists. Me either. Me either. It's just something about him. Oh, yeah. They're, they're not that good to me. But look at me. I'm I'm... I'm at home exact facts. drinking and shit, so. Facts. Hey, Chris, don't yeah. fuck me up, bro. <laughs> Listen, and one thing people got to realize, like, we just talking. Like, you know, we yeah. just talking. We we ain't trying to fight nobody. Like, this is what we're oh, supposed to do. I'm love <laughs> hey, right. I'll, I'll sleep with all of y'all, bro. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, speaking about sipping, I had this short story. Shit, me and my girl, we're at, at Six Flags, um, um. L.A. or whatever. Mm -hmm. So guess who we see? I'm, we're about to get on the ride. Me and my mm -hmm. son. I look over. I see this dude that looked like Superman in the car. It's motherfucking Paulo Costa. Boha I, I told my And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, I told my girl, I'm like, girl, that's, that's Paulo Costa. She's like, no. I'm like, bro, that's Paulo Costa. And I'm like, I was because I know like a tiny bit of fucking Portuguese. Like, I know how to say hello or whatever. Uh -huh. And then the car breaks down and he has to get out. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, boy, how you? Mean? He looks over. I'm like, because I didn't want to be all in this bump or like a fucking groupie and shit. And I was like, oh, that's dope as hell. His big ass was in the motherfucking small ass cart. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. You good. Yo, that's crazy. Hey, just regular people out there living their regular lives. <laughs> yeah, man. That was cool as hell, though. Because the thing is, nobody else knew who he was. Like, oh, that's nobody crazy. could get. Who fuck school he was? Hey, I bet he was happy about that because then you just get to go out, live your life. You ain't got to worry about like people disrupting you and stuff. I wonder if he's going to sign back with the UFC. I wonder if he's even going to fight Whitaker because he, he said he ain't about to fight Whitaker. He needs to make some more money. Like that whole situation is about to get out of control. And, and the oh, thing is, I didn't like it. I didn't like him before, but that motherfucker kind of funny. Me either. I didn't, I didn't like him with that when that Marvin Vittori shit happened. Cause he was just taking it like so, like, nah, if I would. And I'm like, come on, dude, like, be professional. You know what I mean? Like, he was just being mm -hmm. real goofy. But then after that, you know, with the whole Luke Rockhold, you know, he started, you know, I just want you to make got weight. Shit and then, together a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Cause that, that wasn't cool. So I hope that he says, you know, he's an entertaining fighter. But then, yeah, so opening up the main, opening up the main card, your boy Thug mm -hmm. Nasty, Bryce Mitchell against Ilya Taporia. This is going to be good. I like Bryce Mitchell a lot. I do. And too. then I was just watching the embedded. I'm like, damn, Ilya Tapora got hella hands. He do. But I was just, I was telling my girl, look what fucking Bryce Mitchell, Mitchell did to Edson Barbosa. It he was made terrifying. him look like he ain't never, he made him look like he ain't never fought before. Facts. 
fact. And, and Edson fought motherfucking Khabib. I know. I know. And he didn't do him like that. Yeah. Bryce's <laughs> grappling is really, really good. Someone's O must go in this fight. Like, they're both undefeated. <laughs> you know, featherweight division is... The featherweight division is, like, on a slow cook right now. But, like, it's about to get hot. You know what I mean? Like, Bryce... Like, when Bryce gets up there, because, like, once Bryce... Or I'm leaning towards what's, Bryce. What's he ranked right Minnesota. now? What, 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 what's Bryce ranked right now? So he's ranked nine right now. Yeah, they got him at nine. I don't know how they got Giga in front of him. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. If, once Bryce does that, I mean, like, he'll be on a... Me, a... A lot of people don't want to see Bryce just because the style of his fighting. He's one of those, <laughs> like, Clay Guida type of dudes, but like, yeah. 30 times better. He makes things ugly and nasty. He grabs you, takes you down, beats you up. Yeah. You don't want to be in the <laughs> I don't know. Hey. But like I said, any Saturday, anything can happen. And he's, Taboria, he's swift with the hands. He really is. He really is. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm excited for that. I, I want to see what happens. It's a good moment for uh, Tabora. And then also, like, like, you know, I'm sure everybody's been seeing, like, he had that issue with Patty the Batty in London. And now they got them both on the same card. You know what I mean? He wanted to fight Patty. And so, like, that whole little thing is like, it's just going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see. And then, uh, Darren Till, is that you? Are you going to make it, bud? <laughs> Are you going to make who, it, Darren? Who, who you got in this? Who you got in this? I can't go against you, Plessies. I, I want didn't... Darren to win. I don't. I, I don't. I, you, don't you don't want Darren to win? I'm just not the biggest fan of him. <laughs> like I said, like I said. I have fighters that I like, and like I'm a Masvidal fan, and then Masvidal beat his ass. Oh, Shit, that that's when he order. pieced up. That's when he pieced up pieced Leon. <laughs> exactly. So I, I think Drinkus, uh, Drinkus be hitting hard in the motherfucker too. He really do. He really does. <laughs> he like, and this is the more fa- favorable fight for Darren because like du- Duplessis is gonna want to strike with you. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, he's on a two-fight losing streak. He lost to Whitaker, lost to Brunson, got submitted two by top, Brunson. Two top guys. Two. Yeah, exactly. But it's just been like we haven't been able to see Darren. Darren's been pulling out here and there. Like, it's been rough for Darren ever since he got, ever since he lost. So. He been running around with your boy, Kamza, playing around and shit. I know. Like, where is Hamza? Like, we ain't seen Hamza with him. This, like, have you seen? I haven't seen Hamza. So he might he might have picked up some grappling and stuff though. So I hope so. I still got I, I still got Drake yes though. I think Drake yeah. is a win. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm leaning towards it, but I, I want to see Darren get out there. I want to see Darren look good. I want to see him look, look like he exactly. used to look because he used to yeah. look really good on the feet. Like you know, they wanted Izzy and him to fight for such a long time, but it's like recently he ain't been looking like that person. So like, it'll be cool if we could see that version of him resurface Man, and yes, come back up. Beat his ass. Facts. Facts. <laughs> I mean, Izzy's going to beat 99% of people's ass. Like, that's just a fact. Like 99.9, except his name is Alec. <laughs> yeah, you know, and even at that, he was beating him until he wasn't. Like, it's it's tough. It's hard for the champ out here. And then you got Alex Morano stepping in late notice for Bobby, Robbie Lawler, because Ro- Lawler's Lawler, out. I know. I'm, I'm a big fan of Robbie Lawler, too. I know yeah. he's old. He'd be losing his shit, though, but he's but he old. But he'd be going. Too, so. Listen, but even in his last fight with Barbarina, he was winning that fight until he wasn't. And then the fight before that, Nate, uh, I'm sorry, against Nick. Nick. Hey, Nick was, Nick was, was piecing Nick. him up. Nick didn't really want to fight, though. He came in and got the chat and he was like, all right, bro. No, no. He, okay. He yeah, yeah. He, he quit. He quit. <laughs> but listen, the first <laughs> round, Nick was piecing him up and he looked slow. But for some reason, that was working on Lawler. That, it, it, it was entertaining while it was happening. <laughs> Who you got in this Ponzinibbio? I, I go with Alex. Like, <sighs> you know why? I, I think the last couple times I've seen Alex fight, I think um, he fight last. Can you? Yeah, I don't know why this is acting up. Hold on. I think I might. I don't know. I might go Ponzinibbio. Ponzinibbio. He took. He fought Alex, right? His last fight, not his last fight, but he took him to a distance. Oh, dang. They That's got it Robbie. messed up right now. I know, yeah, they got it messed up right now. Because oh, it, it was the, the fight that was mm-hmm. long before. Yeah. Hold on. Who did Ponzinibbio fight last, though? We, we can see with that. Ponzinibbio's pretty good, though. He is. He oh, was on a... Oh, no. No, he fought the header last, I think. Michelle Pajeda. Uh, Not Alex Pajeda. Yeah, yeah. 
Let me see. I want to see who. Because I know that there's something about Murano that, like, I had watched him fight. And he was just super he's tough. gritty. He's hella okay, tough. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's on a nice little win streak. He beat up Gaul, beat Moraine, or beat this Selmsberger fight. This fight was a banger. That's what I remember. I remember watching that fight. So, yeah, he was the one. He did lose to Cerrone. But, yeah, so he's on a three-fight win. Yeah, Ponzinibbio. Ponzinibbio, he just lost. He just lost to somebody. I think it was, like, George. George Neal that he just lost to. Jeff Neal, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lost. But that was a close fight. Like, anybody could have won that fight. I thought Neil did just enough at the end, but yeah, that was a close fight. Man, Jeff Neil looked good in his last fight. Mm-hmm. He really did. He really <laughs> did. I don't know. He didn't got real focused. So, I mean, <laughs> let's see. Who you, who you leaning towards? I think I might go Ponds and NBO. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really have no dog in the fight there. Like, that, a lot of these fights are really, like, kind of just, like, Exactly. The card got weak. The thing is, that's what I was going to say about this card. It's a, a lot of people that I don't, I'm not really invested in the people. Exactly. Like, I really don't care about them that much. Like, exactly. I, I'm going to watch all the fucking fights, but yeah. I'm not invested in the people that much. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited because the fights are going to be on, but I don't really, I'm not yeah. super like, oh my God. Exactly. Like, even yeah. Patty, I'm like, all right, man, whatever. I, I, I want I want to be in the building so I can go, oh, Patty the Batty. Well, hey, I'm not the hugest Patty fan, but if that chant going off, I'm going off with it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't call that myself a horse. It really is. Like, the like when I seen that shit on, in London, I was like, oh, I got to see. I got to do that. Like, it just seems fun. Um, <laughs> and, and I thought that he was going to lose to Jordan Levitt. I know. So, and the thing is, I like Jordan a little weird ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too. He He's an interesting character. Um, when he slammed that dude with the motherfucking powers. Bro. With the four on to his head. Oh, my God. Yeah. It, it That was brutal. And then afterwards, he fell all oh. bad. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, hey, man, it's a fist but, fight. Bro, it's like, I would be telling my girls, like, you can't beat my ass in the twerk. He can't twerk around me, man. He can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man listen you wild him bro you tripping he is so wild he is so like his whole Just story he corner and hung your coach <laughs> hey man you know good fight you know yeah that me up don't be quirking bro like god yeah. damn you tripping yeah yeah no that was wild <laughs> i don't know feel- with, with patty in this one i think patty's gonna win I th- he just looks a little bit more skilled i liked gordon's his story though he has a yeah Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot to go through. So yeah. he, he probably Former gonna be ready Addy. to go out there and fight. Yeah, let's see. He's gonna be ready to go out there and fight. I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm starting to get like stuck in this this phase of like constantly feeling like, okay, the next fight he's gonna Patty's gonna lose the next fight. You know what I mean? So it's like as that's happening, the one fight where I'm like, oh yeah, he got this. That's gonna be like kind of like I was with Charles. That's gonna be the one he's gonna get slept exactly. or exactly yeah. out or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's he, the thing. I, I always go against him. I know that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> and the one time so that now it's like, I'm like I'm kind of fucking with him a little bit, and he's probably gonna get knocked out. <laughs> the thing is, he always get touched. Like he always get touched on he the do. chin, and that that's he that's do. where the fear comes from. Even though he's like, oh, scousers don't get knocked out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, we we gonna see. I know Jared is more of like wrestling, grappling type of thing, but you know, Patty likes his submissions down there. So we're we're gonna see. I'm I'm excited to see this Patty fight here in Vegas. I want to see what the I'm crowd if the crowd is fucking with him like that. I want to see if the yeah. crowd's fucking with San, him like that. San Diego be fucking with him heavy too, though. So I'm yeah. a town boy. So yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he stay at the page Padres game. I think like you an ambassador he eating burritos and everything. Hey. San Diego embrace them. I'm going to fuck with them. Right. <laughs> facts. And then, unfortunately, everybody already knows we lost Yuri versus Glover. They fucked And, you know, I Glover. love Glover. I love they, Glover. Man, why did you do Glover like that? They, they the shouldn't do like but, that. You know what? I'd rather him not take that fight and not get his ass beat going against facts. and Goliath if he's not prepared for it. Yeah. But take they could give him brother. Jan. They could have gave him Yan. Like, y- y'all was playing. Y'all was playing with that man. But that's cool because, yeah, ain't a lie of so good. But he's one he's of those guys, like we talked about, that's a, 
overall, if there's not one thing about Ain't Goliath that you're going to say, oh, he's really, really good at that. Like, no, he's overall an MMA fighter. And I think, I think it's, I think he's, I think it's going to be too much for Jan. Let's Even let, though Jan got the power. This. I fucking love Jan. I love him. Yeah. Like, this motherfucker is funny. That's what well, we talked about it a long time ago. It's not just the fighters. Like, motherfuckers be good all the time. You're in the UFC, you top champion and all this shit. But right. it's like, what do you bring to the table? He's Polish. I barely yes. understand him. But his personality, I just want to yeah. go give him a big ass hug and be like, I bro, know. be my friend. <laughs> like, right. I, he, I just watched it in Bennett uh, yesterday. He was uh-huh. in the damn, in the, in the ice going up the snow mountain. And he just destroyed, he destroyed a snowman just yeah. because him and his friends got, I was like, bro, I love you. <laughs> like, yeah, that was amazing. amazing. Yeah. But I think Ankle is, <laughs> Ankle is going to win, bro. That's with that being good. said. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's really said, good. He's, he's really good. good. He's real good. He's not one of them Dagestanis who's just going to wrestle. He got them mm-hmm. paws. Yeah. He has hands. Exactly. He's good. Yeah. He's long. He's rangy. He's athletic. It's not going to do it. Yeah. Think. I know. Unless y'all hit him with something, it's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. So, you know. yeah. You think? I, I, and this one always, me and my girl, I was like, I just be wanting to see a fight that goes at least three rounds and I don't want you to come out there and just get washed out in the first round and we'd be like, damn, that was, that's all you have for us. So I just want to, I want to fight, you know, like give us all you got, my guy. Give us all you got. I feel oh, that I'm way. I'm just yawning. <laughs> but, you know, I feel that way when it's, when it's like a main event, like you said, like I do want to see a couple mm-hmm. of rounds. Like I hate when somebody come out and just get starched. Like on the other cards, y'all can starch city. Y'all can knock yeah. each other yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. But yeah, exactly. when it's the championship exactly. fight, I do want to be able to feel like we got to see something. Like we got to see, see what you've been training I think, for. I think with a championship fight, if you just come out and you just get beat real fast, you, and I hate to say his motherfucking name again, but Connor, when he beat Aldo, yeah. he, he, he punched him once and it was just done. It's like, yeah. all right, man, you, you knocked his ass out. But you didn't, y'all didn't scratch to see how no. the, how y'all fighting yeah. skills was going to go. Right. I give Connor his credit for that. I just be wanting to see everything. Like, what are you guys going to do? What positions are you guys going to be in? How are you right. going to counter yeah. each other? So I want to, I want to see that. So like Yuri and Glover's fight, we're like, right. oh my God, what, what the fuck is going yeah. on? He's, yeah. he's on top of him. He's grappling. He's punching him. He's, yeah. he's submitting him. He's not submitting him. He's back up. He, yeah. Like, I want to see that kind of shit back and forth, back and forth. So I hope it's a good fight. Yeah. I hope so. I think I'm going to go Ankalaya too, though. Know? Yeah, yeah. That That's where I'm pretty much leaning. Yeah, so 282. And this card's kind of mid. <laughs> It's that's what mid, I was saying. But like to to be a pay per view fight because I always I always look at the what's the co main event. If the co main mm-hmm. event's like a banger banger, then you know the whole car is gonna be like something you want to watch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, it, it's lost a lot of fights. It's lost a lot of gusto, and it, it's it's looking it's looking mid. See, you see, it? no girls were on the fight on the car. Oh yeah, yes, you're right. Dang. And they're in Vegas too, right? Yeah, they're in Vegas. Damn, they couldn't pull no girls. You know? <laughs> Dang. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah exactly. So yeah, 282 is looking mid. Even next weekend, like, these are going to be... Oh, they got Armin Sarukian next weekend? Down next, here. Week? next weekend is Jared versus Sean. Oh, uh, bro, I hope Jared is his ass up. I hope so. I hope so. Is I can't that, stand Is that Alex Gasseris? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. He the call main. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it, but like, come on, who's under him? So if you look at the co main, if he's the co main, if you look under, you like that. Mm-hmm. I like Michael Morales coming off of the. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He, I like he's he's like, like, young. What is he? Twenty two. Yeah, yeah. He's super mm-hmm. young. Yeah, I like. I like, I like Armin Sarukian as well. I'm surprised they put him so far down on the oh, car. Man. I thought he down beat there. Gamrot. That's what I'm saying. I thought he beat Gamrot. In my opinion, when I watched that fight. Cause didn't nobody know hey. who Armin was, and didn't nobody know who Gamera was. But after that fight, hey. they knew. Hey, them transitions was crazy in that fight. Listen, I I, I thought he won too. I did too. Like I was sure of it, and I was like, "Wait, what?" Like that was is, crazy. Is he ranked? Is Armin ranked? Number nine. Oh, that's right. He's top ten. 
And yeah. He's thin. Yeah. Yeah. He's, you think he's that's smaller. Card... He's kind of smaller for the dude. Like shorter. I don't think they have this card like properly ordered right now because this don't make no sense that they got Brandon Royval way down here either. So I'll, oh, yeah. and, no, I think he's gonna be up. Who is he fighting? Who's that? Yeah, he's fighting Amir Albazi, which he's pretty good actually. Um, mm-hmm. We're gonna see, but Darren Wynn is fighting. I wish that Darren would just like commit to losing weight because he is too fucking small to be fighting at middleweight. Darren was the one that got beat up really <laughs> bad. Exactly. <laughs> like, he should not be fighting that middleweight. He is too small because the way that Phil Haas did him with them yeah. elbows and them nastiness, like, almost had almost had a DC. <laughs> DC, I'm retired. He said, hey, in the ring. He was like, <laughs> fight in the ring. you didn't beat me, young man. You didn't beat me. Hey, but that card, that, that, that Phil Haas card, and that card was crazy. That's yeah. what everybody was getting knocked out. <laughs> it really was. That was an amazing card. Yeah, yeah. this card is not properly, because they're not going to put... Oh, they the got him a fight. Who is that? We're, say Nurmagomedov. Yeah, where, where is Usman? Don't nobody want to fight Usman? Man, you got to watch out for them, man. Or, or Usman, I mean, I know. <laughs> hey, you get that call, you like, nah, I, I got an mm-hmm. injury. I got an injury. Want to twice. <laughs> yeah. If you see Sacks. a Magomedov on there, you got to, like, shit, man, I'll take and, the next one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so make sure yeah. the wrestling's on par. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, that's oh, just. I, 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 so let's get into. I know we probably got to go somewhere, but what do you think about James Cross though? Yo, this shit happening Krause. with James Cross is crazy. This shit is crazy. I cannot wait to find out what's actually going on. You know, because like I watched Ariel's show and he like spent like a good thirty forty five minutes like breaking everything down, like where everything is at, and I was just like. Yo, what is going on? Like, I think that it's a little bit extreme to like say, "Hey, you can't train at his gym." And his camp, you, yeah, yeah, because like that puts Brandon Moreno in a bad situation. That's who I'm worried about. I love Brandon. Like, that's who I'm worried about. Me like, too. what y'all doing? His with fight's Brandon? coming up next month. So now he got to get another coach. This is gonna be his third, his third new coach since he's been fighting. What's the old boy's name? <laughs> Davison. Yeah, <laughs> like. I don't like that. Yeah. That's the main thing I'm upset about. But, like, you know, I hope that a proper investigation happens. You know what I mean? I really don't, like, in my mind, I don't think that James Krause is, first of all, stupid enough to do anything illegal like that. You think but, so? Uh, you know how when money come around? Money hey. makes motherfuckers go crazy, man. He was they... making bread. Yeah. So, he was and the thing is, I used to watch this fucking YouTube when he was talking about the betting lines and all of this yeah, stuff, too. I was like, I'm like, damn. I yeah. used to like him as a fighter, but mm-hmm. I used to hate how his his fighters used to fight. You, yeah, I was like, I, you can tell he's how they coach, and they never used to just go out there and give it they all. They so technical on the ground yeah. and all that. I think Alex Moreno was one of his fighters. Oh man, I don't. Not that's anymore. Crazy, bro. Not anymore. Yeah, the, I they and they keeping it on the hush. Like, and one thing that Ariel and them was talking about that really made sense to me. They were basically saying like, if you like, this is exposing like a huge issue within MMA in general, which is the fact that they have the different gyms that everybody's going to, and like, there's really no way of regulating. Like when TJ TJ said that he wasn't on embedded and that he didn't want to have like any. He had a super small camp and all he had was Cub as his training partner. And, like, so had Cub been, like, hey, you know, talk to his girl or whoever and been, like, oh, you know, he's really hurt right now. And then she tells somebody and then somebody starts betting on that. Like, there's no way of, like, policing that or knowing. You know what I mean? Like, had somebody got that information. And so, yeah, the whole situation is just, it's crazy. It's crazy. I feel like, man, you can't, the sport's been elevating so much without, Mm -hmm. like, soup drama minus like you know steroid shit right. it's like you can't have fighters taking dives and or you know fucking with the money line and all that shit right that's the shit that was happening like boxing like years ago with these mm-hmm. promoters and stuff like that this to me that's why i loved mma so much because it was kind of you know it was like the purest form of like fighting right everybody's just coming out here they're scrapping they doing and it's the thing is it's like it's the unknown guy 
with the next unknown guy. He's yeah. like, he's good at this thing. We're just going to scrap and see who wins. But then once the, every time the money gets involved, you see it's starting to elevate to the next level. Right. You got to you got to follow the money. Yeah. So that kind of sucks. I hope I hope it don't be like fucking shit up. Yeah. I hope and, it's the thing is, If you notice too, remember Dana, what was it? A couple weeks before this shit came out and he was like, like fighters can't can't bet on yeah yeah yeah. early october can't, they can't, can't bet, bet on them yeah, yeah 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 yeah. fighters can't bet and mm-hmm. and then this shit come out with james Fowles. so i they probably was hot on the trail before they even knew what was going on yeah i mean you know it's it's all very interesting um i hope that james didn't do nothing crazy like i hope we can all get rectified but the fact that they went so extreme and they like can't nobody train in his gym like if you're managed That's, by him anything uh, like that kind of makes you be like hmm, like maybe they know something that we don't that they're not releasing yet so we'll see all his stuff got deleted like his whole like a discord and all that got deleted oh, so yeah imagine yeah, how many he, people was getting money on <laughs> hey, <laughs> probably like yeah bro they really i was getting was. to the bag off of you and you know we had james Krause flying out and doing our show that they i think it shows on youtube it's called breakdown we're like you know like because he's yeah. a coach and mm-hmm. he's really good and so like he's hella good yeah and so we had to go and reshoot all of that it was it was crazy the whole thing's crazy and you see a girl megan anderson pulling out the teeth yo megan what is going on <laughs> Hey, we oh ain't, my ain't, God. Ain't, we ain't seen what's her name in a minute ever since that we ain't heard nothing about laura Laura been in the That's cut. What I'm saying, though, I hope they don't suck. Because I like Lauren a lot. Yeah. Like, she's good. Yeah. See, that's the thing. It's like, bro, y'all fucking up the bag for everybody. Hey, Megan, I thought you was retired. Shut up. Like, oh, <laughs> shut man. up. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. So, yeah, that's it for this episode. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Once again, we will be here next week, live and direct. And uh, I hope you guys are watching the fights. I hope you guys enjoy them. And, you know, go ahead. If you're in San Diego, get your cash cocktails. All right. Watch the fights, y'all. Well, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bellator, this Friday. Bellator, this Friday. Mm-hmm. Miss Carmouche, San Diego. Miss Carmouche is fighting. Are you going with Stotts or... um um Stotts. He's black. Yeah. <laughs> hey, me too. I don't like you the too. little... I don't like Danny. Um, I don't either. like him. Yeah. I don't like his attitude. Like he felt so, he felt so entitled. They're like, okay, yeah, you won your contenders fight, but like Dana said, like you went inside there and like you held this man down. Like you wasn't trying to get him out of there. Like and so he like walks around being bitter about that. It's like, hey, let's go, Stocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Stocks. Thank you for reminding me too. I gotta see that. Did you watch the one fights last week? No, remember I was out and about, but I, I only I only watch uh, Kate's fight. Oh. Go back and watch that uh, the main event. Okay, it that was sh- bomb. That shit was that shit was brutal. It was okay. Bad. It was brutal. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna right, go check it out. All right, y'all. All right, peace. So don't give me the don't give me the talking because I'll start talking some more. <laughs> yeah. All right.